My name is Manuela Veloso. I'm the current head of the machine learning department at Carnegie Mellon University. In the future, I believe that there will be this coexistence between uh, humans and these artificial intelligence systems that will be uh, hopefully of service to humanity. And these AI systems will involve systems that only handle the digital world, but there will be also systems that move around like drones, and uh, robots and autonomous cars. So you will have this intelligence in the physical world too, not only on your cell phone and on your computer, but also more present around us in any environment. So what I'm very much wor uh, working on is the fact that I would like these machines to be able to explain themselves. So to be accountable for the decisions they make, to be transparent. When Cobot, my robot, arrives to uh, my office, slightly late, you can say, why are you late? Or uh, which route did you take? Because this problem, these, these, these issues that the robot, when it moves in the building, I cannot see the robot. And therefore, when it appears in front of my office, I would like to know more about what did it do? What it actually encountered on its experience by itself coming from my lab to my office? That makes us eventually, the humans, trust more these robots, trust more these machines, because these AI systems, they are able to explain uh, what's behind their decisions or what's behind their inferences or what's behind their suggestions. But I do believe the same way that humans have limitations, I speak with an accent, I don't play squash as well as someone else, uh, that, we, we, that these robots will also have limitations. Alexa, for example, cannot scramble eggs, which is perfectly fine. It doesn't have the ability to move from place to place. So there is this concept of AI systems. They have to be in symbiosis with everything else, uh, with other information on the web, with other AI systems, with humans next to them, with humans remote, and becomes now not a problem of actually developing the AI system to be self-contained, and all uh, with all the knowledge there and all the capabilities, but no, it's just an AI system that can recognize and tell when it does not know, or it needs more information, or I think this with some probability, but it's not that it can solve all the problems up front, but it can rely on all these other sources around it. The general AI problem is extremely challenging and extremely exciting now because there is so much data. There's so much data and there are so many people using the digital devices. We have seen a great success on these assistants, uh, the intelligent assistants. But eventually, uh, more and more, as the time goes, we are doing a lot of research on these AI systems having impact on problems more broad in society, the, deciding traffic in a big city, or deciding or making great predictions about climate and making recommendations about uh, all sorts of like decisions and supporting humans in great decisions they have to make about complicated and very complex systems. I really think that the autonomous systems, the research we do in autonomous systems, autonomous cars, autonomous robots, it's a call to humanity to be responsible. It was invented by us, by humans. It didn't come from the sky from aliens. It's our own discovery. It's the human mind that conceived such technology. So it's up to the human mind also and humanity to make good uses and responsible uses and beneficial uses of this technology. And I have a lot of trust that this will happen.